Let's explore exercise 3-15, dealing with department overhead rates. I'll read the problem to you. Here's what it says. It says, White Company has two departments, cutting and finishing. The company uses a job order costing system and computes a predetermined overhead rate in each department. The cutting department bases its rate on machine hours, and the finishing department bases its rate on direct labor hours. At the beginning of the year, the company made the following estimates. And you see the table of information here. So we see how many direct labor hours they expect in cutting and finishing, how many machine hours they expect in each department, what their estimate of total fixed manufacturing overhead cost would be, and they've already provided an estimate of what the variable manufacturing overhead is per machine hour for, per cutting, uh, for the cutting department and per um, direct labor hour for the finishing department. And remember, the cutting department bases its rate on machine hours, and um, the finishing department bases it on direct labor hours. Okay, so what we're asked to do on, on part one is to compute the predetermined overhead rate to be used in each department. Okay, now I'm showing you the solution in front of you. So what we have to do is we have to come up with the estimated fixed manufacturing overhead and we have to think through the estimated variable manufacturing overhead, right? So once we have both of those, we can add them both up. Now they gave us 48,000 as the machine hours for the cutting department and we know that it was a $2 estimate per machine hour. So that's $96,000 plus the $264,000 of the estimated fixed cost gives us a total estimated manufacturing overhead of $360,000. Okay, we just go through the math. Now, $360,000 divided by the $48,000 of the machine hours, right? That was their estimate. Would give us the predetermined overhead rate for the cutting department based on machine hour of $7.50. So that's all there is to computing uh, the estimated total manufacturing overhead cost for the cutting department. Now we go through that same exact logic for the finishing department. You can see the algebraic calculation and if you want to work it that way that's fine but I think it's easier to think about it this way. They've given us the estimated fixed manufacturing overhead cost. They've given us an estimate of direct labor, uh, the cost per direct labor hour, so it's $4. And in this case, they gave us 30,000 direct labor hours. We add the variable manufacturing to the fixed manufacturing, and we come up with the total estimated manufacturing overhead cost. So then we simply have to divide that estimated total manufacturing overhead cost by the estimated total direct labor hours, and that's how we would come up with the predetermined overhead rate for the finishing department. Okay, that's all there is to part one of this problem. Thanks everyone.